Hi, welcome to this follow along acrylic painting course. My name is Tatiana Ambrose and I'm an award winning creative artist who will be guiding you through this course. With this course, we are going to transform our plain white canvas into a stunning sunset view. Every section is broken down into the simplest steps possible. So even if this is your first time acrylic painting, this is going to be the course for you. And I encourage you to give this course a try. In the end, you will have a stunning painting you can hang anywhere in your home or even give as a gift. We will go from start to finish on what you'll need to recreate this painting. And I encourage every artist that joins this course to give their painting their own unique flair, whether it's adding leaves to their tree, creating a different type of tree, or even having a crescent moon instead of a full moon. The ideal student for this course is anyone who wants to follow along and recreate this masterpiece. So feel free to take a look through the course description and watch the free preview videos. And I hope to see you inside this course. Before we continue on any further in the course, I did want to properly introduce myself. My name is Tatiana Ambrose and I'm an award-winning creative artist. I have won multiple upon multiple amounts of awards through the different artworks that I've created. I personally use anything and everything in my environment around me from do-it-yourself upcycling items into different art pieces to mixed media and even acrylic paint. Now at the end of the day, I have to say acrylic paint is in my top favorites. When I had my acrylic paint classes, I absolutely loved it. And now the fact that I get to share my passion of acrylic paint in helping you create a specific nature masterpiece, I am beyond humbled that you have chosen me as your creative artist and teacher for this course. So without keeping you waiting any longer, let's continue on. Now let's take a look at some of the supplies that you will need for this follow along painting workshop. So the first thing is a blank canvas. I am going to be using a canvas that is 16 by 20 inches. You are not required to use this exact size. If you have a smaller one or a bigger one, go for it. Any size canvas works. And then of course, we're going to need an easel to hold your canvas. The easel is once again up to you on the type of preference that you like. I'm going to be using one that has a top lever that holds the canvas in place, but you can also have a traditional wooden easel if that's what you have. Next, we're going to need some paint brushes. So for this course, I am going to be using specifically a number 12 flat brush, a number four angular brush, a number two round brush, and then a very fine detail brush. Now, if you get a set of paint brushes, all of these types of brushes should be included. You might not have a number 12 flat brush, but if you have a flat brush of some size, that is perfectly fine. And it will do just as well as the number 12 flat brush. So just make sure you have a flat brush, angular, round brush, and a fine detail brush. I'm not really too worried about making sure it is a specific size, but if you do have the correct sizes, fantastic. Then a cup of water to rinse off our paint brushes in between the different colors, followed by paper towels to dry off your rinsed brushes so we're not diluting the paint and having it be extra runny on our canvas. And before painting, I suggest you wear old clothes or have a paint apron because when it comes to acrylic paint, it does not come out of clothing. So there is a chance that you might get a splatter or two on your clothes on your apron. So make sure that the clothes you're wearing, you're gonna be okay with if it does get some paint on it. Next, I'm gonna have two paper plates that will hold my paint and where I'm gonna mix my paint on. Now, feel free to use a painting palette of any sort if you have one on hand instead of paper plates. I personally like paper plates because after I'm done, 
I just simply toss them. Very easy cleanup for me. And of course, we're going to need acrylic paint. So for this workshop, I'm gonna be using a small acrylic paint set that comes with 24 different acrylic paint colors that are in 12 ml tubes. If you have bigger tubes or you don't have as many colors, just have the primary basic colors because you can always mix your colors to get a lighter color, a darker color, or a completely different color. And last but not least, make sure that you're painting in an area that is covered. Now, if you're painting outside in the grass, of course you don't have to cover that, but I'm gonna be painting on my porch outside. So I covered my floor with an old blanket, but you can use old towels, blankets, or even a tarp because you want to make sure you are extra cautious with acrylic paint in case you do have the spills, in case your paint does splatter, or you drop your paintbrush by accident. So once you have all of these things, you are 100% ready to get started.